All right, so someone brought me one of these little two-stroke pocket bikes, and it's been sitting around all winter, and it just doesn't want to start, so we're going to figure out the issue and diagnose it, see how to diagnose it and fix it. This is a nice model. It's actually in really good condition. Uh, there's really just two, maybe three things that can go wrong with these things. First thing is make sure you have spark at the spark plug. So the spark plug is right there. You want to make sure that you have fire and we're going to see how to see that. Second issue would be your carburetor. And last and least common issue is just compression and you're able to see that by pulling the starter and feeling if there's, there's any resistance. First thing you want to do is see if there's a spark on the spark plug. Yeah, so I managed to get the spark plug loose. Last thing you want to do is over tighten the plug. If you strip those threads that are in there, you're going to need a whole new cylinder. What we're going to do. Put the spark plug back into the coil and try grounding the plug and then turning over the motor to see if there's spark. You want to try going somewhere that's darker so that you could see the spark if it's there. Crank the motor. And that's how you see if you have spark or not. All right, now that you made sure whether or not you have spark, and if you don't have spark, it's either gonna be your spark plug or the coil, the issue. This is what your coil looks like. If you have spark, like us, and it still doesn't wanna start, then 90%, 99% of the time, it's gonna be your carburetor. Uh, you could order these little carburetors online, uh, on eBay, Amazon, whatever. These are the typical carbs that come in when you buy these eBay, Amazon scrap carburetors. They look just like it, but they don't work. That's pretty much the issue. You put them on, the bike doesn't start, the bike doesn't want to idle, it has a rough idle, it just doesn't work properly. I don't know why, they're like 10 bucks, 15 bucks, whatever they cost, they're absolute scrub. Um, the jets plug up quick, it's just not, it just doesn't work. What I do is I order straight from Chinese Parts Canada. Their carbs are more expensive. But these are high quality carburetors. Come in this cute little satchel. These ones from Chinese Parts Canada though, these are high quality. And anytime you put these on, the bike will start. If it's a carburation issue, it'll start better than it did when it was working brand new from the factory. Put one of these high quality Chinese Parts Canada carburetors on and you guys could see the difference for yourself. I mean, this literally fixes any carburation problems that you would have with these little, these little two strokes because these jets get clogged up really easily. So let's slap it on and we'll see how we go from there. First thing to replace one of these carburetors really easy. It's like two or three screws. You gotta take out the air filter. If you haven't done it in a while, clean your air filter. Dunk it in a, in like a, a pail full of gasoline or just a bowl full of gasoline and soak it in and, and, and rinse it out because these are reusable. They're uh, the mesh wire ones. Once the air filter's off, you just take this off. Watch out not to lose washers on there. You're gonna have bigger hex bolts in here that are actually holding the carburetor to the intake manifold. These are these two long bolts holding the carburetor in. You don't want to lose these. You actually don't want to lose any screws. Once the bolts are off that are holding the carburetor, the only thing still holding your carburetor is your throttle cable and your, your, your gas line pretty much. The gas line came off already. This will be the gas line. It's just a little clamp, you pull it off. And now the complicated part, 
complicated. A little more complicated part is the throttle cable. All you have to do is, let me, let me change the angle. You just have to unscrew this. And this is actually a decent quality carburetor on this thing. It just wasn't properly cared for. And you pull it out. And that's gonna be your th throttle needle, carburetor needle, whatever you wanna call it. So at this point, your carburetor's off and what you could do is open up the bowl. I don't know if you can see it properly. But you could open up the bowl, clean out the jets, try cleaning the carburetor, spray some carb spray in there, everything like that. Or not break your head, don't waste your time, and order a decent carburetor from Chinese Parts Canada or any other source that sells good quality carburetors. Because the Amazon, the eBay carburetors, they, they suck. They take forever to come in and once they're in, they don't even work. So the best thing to do is just replace this carburetor and run it for as long as you're able to run it. Now what you want to do is remove the old needle and all you have to do is squeeze down on the spring. See this thing coming out? You want to just get it off that channel there, pull it off, and that's it. Now your needle's free. You can throw that out because your carburetor's going to come with a new one. Your spring's going to come out. You have this last cap right here that's going to come out. You could discard all of this, throw it all out. Your new carb's gonna come as is. You wanna open up this top cap. Don't lose that spring, it's gonna pop out. Start off by putting this cap back in. Then inside here, it's gonna be your needle. You wanna make sure not to lose it or drop it. Just wanna pull it out like that. Just like that. Inside here, you have this, this little washer that sort of spins. And you want the whole of the washer to be aligned with the channel. See that? It has to be open because if not, if it's spun around like that, you won't be able to get your throttle cable in there. You want to compress the spring as much as you can. Down the channel, hook up the throttle cable, and there you go. Inside the carburetor there are actually slots as well. Your channel's there. You want it to be facing the opposite side of the adjustment screw. Like that and you push it in and you should see it go in just like that close back down the top and that's all there is to it once your gas line and your throttle cables on is you just spin everything back around reverse steps put your gasket put back your the bolts tighten everything back up put back your air filter and see if she starts up Now this is the new carburetor on. Haven't adjusted it yet. Haven't touched it straight out of the box. We're gonna we're gonna see how she uh, how she's tuned up and uh, and if I need to adjust it. If you want to get the same carburetor like that or any other parts that you need for your, your Chinese pocket bike or Chinese vehicles in general, I'm going to leave a, a link in the description below to, uh, to the website where you can pick them up as well as a discount code for free shipping. And you could grab it yourself. If you're in the States, it's, it's going to be different. You're going to have to pay a little bit more for shipping. But anywhere in Canada, if you're located anywhere in Canada, you have a free shipping discount with, uh, with my code.